So the changing of seasons from winter to spring is seeing some new activity and behaviours of our visiting hedgehogs here in the garden. So as a spring update in this video we're going to be exploring those new behaviours and just having a look at what activity is happening here in Hedgehog's Hollow. Welcome to Hedgehog's Hollow, the channel for people who are passionate about wild hedgehogs. And if you are someone who wants to attract hedgehogs into your garden and want to say they support those visiting populations, then this could very well be the channel for you. So why don't you, if you've not yet done so, consider hitting that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to also click on that notification bell icon and you get a notification every time a new video is uploaded to the channel. But if you also look through the video description below, you'll find a whole lot of interesting information, including how you can subscribe to our monthly newsletter, as well as, if you want to, buy yourself a Hedgehog's Hollow t-shirt. All the details in the video description below. Now, despite the fact that we started off April with April snow showers, the change of season into spring has really meant that the hedgehogs have changed their behavior. And we really are seeing that springtime behavior here in the hollow. Our winter residents, Ollie and Walter, have both relocated. Walter never actually hibernated in the garden, but was active throughout winter, and Ollie hibernated in a converted tomato box. But now with spring being here, both of them have vacated the hollow and have been replaced by some new visitors. This is very common, as hedgehogs vacate their hibernation boxes in search of new homes and nesting sites. So this change was, to be honest, expected. In anticipation then of the new batch of hedgehogs that may be looking for new accommodation for the warmer spring and summer months ahead, I did add a new box to the garden and now have four boxes. Despite all the available housing, it was only in the last week or so that I actually had a hedgehog sleeping in each of the four boxes at the same time. A small physical change to the garden has been the expanding of the gap under the gate which forms the access point for all the hedgehogs coming in to the garden. Previously this hole was about 10 centimeters tall and though had been successfully used for two years by many visiting hedgehogs it was a slightly too small space and an uncomfortable gap for them to get through. So I expanded that gap to now be about 12 centimeters tall, which is more in line with the recommendation of a hedgehog hole. And that has made access far more comfortable. And it's now large enough not only for visiting hedgehogs to access the garden, but our cats have now decided that this is a much easier way of getting in and out, rather than having to jump the fence. The type of activity in the garden is also slightly different now. Generally, the garden is either very noisy or empty and silent. Spring is hedgehog mating season and frisky males are on the lookout for females and this leads to noisy rituals of snuffing and huffing where the male circles the female and in turn she will huff and chuff at him. This can be noisy and take a very long time, but eventually the male will move on having been rejected by the female, or the female will in fact submit to him. When the garden has not been noisy with huffing and chuffing, it has fallen silent as hedgehogs explore the area beyond the gap under the gate and into the neighborhood. Remember, hedgehogs need anywhere between two and four kilometers per night to roam. And so one garden and hedgehog's hollow here will never be enough in itself. That's despite the fact that insects are themselves coming out of their winter hiding. And so there's an abundant natural food source for them. That said, I am still leaving out supplemental food for the hedgehogs, which they are taking. But to be honest, they are really enjoying the natural food. And so they are spending a lot of their time beyond the fence here at Hedgehog's Hollow. Perhaps more important than food though, remember to leave out fresh water. 
A fresh supply of water is really critical to wildlife and not just to our hedgehog friends. Of course the hedgehogs are the main visitors to the water bowl, but they are not the only ones. A robin has enjoyed the water bowl during the day not just to drink but to bathe as well. And during the night small animals have shared the water with the hedgehogs. Like this small mouse who I've seen on several occasions coming to drink. So the importance of fresh water cannot be overlooked and be sure not just to focus on food as there is likely to be much food available naturally at this time of year but remember a fresh supply of water for your hedgehog visitors. Now this does also demonstrate the benefits and usefulness of having a wildlife camera in your garden. It's really a fantastic way of having a deeper insight into the activity that's happening in your garden that happens at night and you're not even aware of it. And the cameras really are good enough to be able to track the activity of really small animals like little mice um, that are within the garden, not just the hedgehogs or badgers, if you're fortunate enough to have badgers visit. So if you are in the market for a camera, I cannot recommend it enough. Honestly, it has been an absolute joy to see the activity of these animals and the enjoyment that they have of the facilities I leave for them. If you're interested, I have a playlist of videos dealing with the decisions you can go through in buying a camera and some recommendations of what to look out for in a wildlife camera specifically for looking at hedgehogs. So take a look at that and that will help you with your buying decisions. One thing you should not do for your hedgehog visitors at this time of year is to clean out their houses or even peek inside the houses to check for inhabitants. At this time of year, pregnant females will be looking for nesting sites to give birth to their young and disturbing a nesting female may result in her abandoning her hoglets or worse, killing them in order to protect herself. So please, do not be tempted to clean houses at this time of the year. And even if you think houses are empty, do not even try to open them to have a look. Wait until the late summer or early autumn when hedgehogs are looking for hibernation homes and clean houses at that time. Here in Hedgehog's Hollow, we quite often have one or more of our four houses vacant overnight. And so it's just a joy to be able to see all the activity of the hedgehogs and the comings and goings. And as I say, we are supporting quite a large population and regularly anywhere between two and four will spend the day. But what's been your experience so far this spring and what kind of activity are you seeing in your garden? Do let me know in the comments on this video. I'd love to hear and already I have been receiving some videos of activity in people's gardens which is great and it's very similar to what I'm seeing so that's great to see. Do let me know in the description below of what you're seeing in your garden at the minute. Otherwise from myself here in Hedgehog's Hollow, from myself Mike, you take care. Bye bye.